congratulations on the purchase of your Jackson forward fold camper. Now I'll give you a step-by-step -step instruction on how to set up the main tent. To open up, first thing we do is remove all the little gold linch pins from all the over center latches across the boat rack and around the side and the back of the camper. Then undo our latches on the boat rack. Handy tip is, once it's up out of the way, it can't hook itself around this tongue again. Put your linch pin back in and that'll save you losing them. Raising the boat rack's a lot easier with two people. You get someone on the other side that can control it going up. Or if you're tall enough, you can walk it around. If you're not tall enough and you're on your own, just grab a bit of rope and then you can control how quick the boat rack goes up by hanging onto that piece of rope. Now, while I'm over this side, I'll start unlatching the lid by undoing all the over center latches around the sides and the back. Most important, don't forget to unlatch any of these. Because if you try winching this and opening it with the latches on, it's gonna be a very, very short exercise. Now I'm just gonna unwind my, my front winch, get enough slack in the webbing so I can run it to the middle eyelet on top of the lid. make winching easier and safer so I'm not putting a shear load on the hardware on top of the lid here what I do is I grab a spreader pole put it underneath the lid not against the seal push the lid up with that and place that on the tire that gives me an absolute excellent angle to winch the top open what I'll do now is take up the slack on the winch before I take any load off this then come and remove this so it doesn't fall and chip the paint. Now, as I winch this open, I stand away from the line of the strap. I've got the strap coming down. If the worst happens, if for whatever reason, there's a hardware failure, the amount of stored energy in this strap is quite high. So if that fails, it will come back at quite a speed and I don't want to be in front of it. So I'm off to the side in a safe place. The gas struts on this trailer are quite strong. So now the lid's up at top dead center, I can comfortably just grab it, bring it over, and let it fall under its own steam. The gas struts will stop it slamming down. Now I can tighten it down on the front to keep this pulled down in position. That's simple, while I'm here, Pull my canvas over the edges of the lid and go and raise my rear bow pole. Pretty easy, I can just grab the canvas, pull the rear bow pole up like that. Just make sure that I pull it over, get the canvas square on this. So if I put my hand in through this little sock, my finger, I can feel that it's lined up with the hole on the top corner of this bow pole. So I know my canvas is sitting correct. I can open it up, turn these locks, and I can put the stairs down. Now on the stairs, there is an adjuster bar here on the base and it's held in with uh, linch pins. So what I can do, undo them, remove them, and I can adjust this bar. There's holes at intervals inside here. So I can choose what height. And I know from experience, I need to come out to the first adjustment hole. Line it up, pop that through. Now, 
Always be in the habit of when you put these linchpins back in, put them in from the outside edge. You don't want the end piece of the linchpin sitting out, particularly when you pack up, because if you do, it can catch on the seals inside this door. So always push the linchpins in from the outside. So just put the second one back in. Wiggle it into place and lock the linchpin in. Now I can put my steps down. Now they sit dead set flat, sturdy as they're not gonna wobble as I get in and out of the camper. Before getting in and setting up the main tent, what I wanna do is get all my press studs secured. To get all them in place, both sides, and zip up everything on the camper. Because when you're actually adjusting all the inside of the camper, you want the doors and windows, all the zippers done up before you do all your final adjustments on the internal poles. That way there's no weird stresses either pulling or bunching on the zippers that will inhibit them working once your trailer's set up. That includes this section here, the alfresco window. On this one, there is a Velcro strip along the base, which Velcros on the inside of the camper. So you wanna get that on, in place, and then continue on with the setup. You'll also find a guide to getting that right is to get these press studs on, on the side. Once these are on, it'll give you a longitudinal position on that Velcro, so you will nail it each time, it'll be in the right spot. Another tip is, once this is set up and these zippers are in place, don't ever close this door without taking care to move the zippers out of the way because the zippers actually encroach just inside the edge of the door. So if I close that without moving these, I can actually ruin the zipper. So be sure not to make that mistake. All done. Velcro down on the inside. Now I can pull on my canvas skirt over the top around the whole edge of the camper and make sure everything's sitting neat before putting the poles up. Now that the camper's folded open and we're ready to set up the main tent, look for the correct poles that you need to bring into the tent with you. There'll be six. There'll be four number five spreader poles and two number six upright poles, which go behind me in the corners at the end of the bed. They're easy to recognize. They've got a C-clip at one end, little rubber cap at the other, and of course the number five spreader poles have a white C-clip at each end. So the order we do things is, number one, main bow pole. Be careful not to overextend it. You don't want to stretch and damage the canvas or the stitching. Number two, front bow pole. That's the pole that controls the aspect of the tent, whether it leans forward or backwards, how you zipper on your door, whether it sits vertical or leans one way. If the zippers, if your door, seem to lean towards the front or the drawbar of the camper, this pole has been extended too far. You need to back it off and readjust until everything starts to come to the correct shape. Number three, the two number six poles at each corner of the bed. Put our spreader poles in above here, our number fives, one in each corner. Then, when the front's adjusted right, we can raise the rear bow pole, slide it up, then put in our last two spreader poles, which will hold the back section up and your tent will be done. And again, remember to keep everything zipped up. Don't over tighten the poles, don't over extend them because you will damage the canvas and end up tearing the stitching. There you go, folks. That takes a fairly relaxed 10 to 12 minutes to set up the main tent on the Jackson forward fold or around six minutes if you're in a hurry because you're encroaching on beer o'clock. <music>